Hello everybody. All right, uh, this video is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Uh, a lot's happened in the last, I don't know, couple of months or so. Um, but I guess the big news is that I've actually moved to Greece and um, I've bought a couple of cars already in the first month. I've uh, been here for a month now. Uh, this is actually the second car I've purchased. Uh, the first car I will show you another time. But as you can see, this is a BMW E36 four-door. Um, yeah, this is going to be the new drift car for here in Greece. It is... I'll just do a quick walk around. It's left-hand drive, clearly. Um, yeah, really good buy, uh, I think. Either way, it's pretty clean. Uh, it's originally got a 1.6 in it, but the previous owner put a two and a half liter, uh, I think the engine's called an M54. This is the first beam I've ever owned. Um, but yeah, we'll just do a little quick walk around. Uh, it's got this cool spoiler. Don't know if it's a factory spoiler or a aftermarket spoiler. Um, there's this badge here on it, uh, which is uh, Schnitzer, I think it says. Well, it does say. Um, they do the exhaust. Uh, it's got a full exhaust system. Uh, I, like I said, I don't know too much about BMWs. Um, this is my first Beamer that I've bought. He's got bigger brakes on the back as well. Um, the brakes are off, I think, a 325, he was saying. Uh, so the smallest wheel I can put on the back is a 17. These are currently 18s that are on it. Um, I will end up changing the brakes, putting smaller brakes on the rear, uh, just because clearly I want to be able to put 15s and 16s on the back, um, just for tyre consumption, as this is going to be more like a, a, a seat time car. Uh, as, and I'll do that once I start um, pulling everything apart to weld the diff. I've had the car for about two days now. Um, as you can see, the front is missing a light. Um, that's because yesterday took it for a bit of a bit of a drift on some dirt roads to see how it went and um, the light ended up rallying off and I don't know we ended up losing it so there's that also threw a cable tie on here because that rattled loose um, and as you can see this lights uh, on its way as well but um yeah I mean the guys put some stickers on here uh, as for modifications I'll do a walk around the car first and then I'll talk about what the plans are for this um, the front's got bigger brakes as well, so I don't really care too much about that because I'll probably end up running 17s or 18s in the back. We've got a spider friend here. Oh, here you go. Here he goes. I think he's feeling threatened. Um, we'll let him be. Now, uh, as for the car, oh, the interior is probably the worst part about it. Um, the interior is this ugly color. Um, some people might like it. It's not for me. Um, nor is the steering wheel. Uh, so, yeah, and when you open the doors, the, the hazards come on. Don't know if it's a BMW thing or the way the guys programmed it. I will open the bonnet for now. But yeah, like I said, this is the interior. Um, clearly, uh, the guy had, when I bought it, he had a spare dash, which is the grey colour with black um, so I just thought I'd grab that off him as well as you can see the rear seats the car's in pretty good condition um, don't know what's going on here it's got wind ups and electric windows so I'm guessing the door trims off an electric window clearly um, and this has only got electric windows in the front um, but yeah I don't know don't really care like I said it's going to be a drift car uh, as for the boot Some other things as well that he had, um, just some other small interior pieces that I thought I'd just grab, worst case scenario, I'll just piff them out. Um, but yeah, that's it really, that's the boot. Like I said, the car's in pretty good condition, it's got a tow bar, um, don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's got this um, powered by BMW, I don't know if this is a factory uh, option or the guys just put it on there. Um, yeah, not too much I can really talk about this car because I don't really know much about BMWs, but the car drives pretty good. Um, I didn't open the bonnet, so we'll go back this way. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've had the car for three, uh, two, three days now. I think this is the third day. And um, very happy with it. 
uh, car drive's good. Clearly, it would have been better if the, the diff was LSD, but um, it's not. Um, it's also got that badge on the front as well, which I don't really mind. It looks pretty. I guess it goes with the, the sleekness of the car. Um, yeah, and this is the engine. Uh, like I said, I think it is a M54 or M52. Don't know. Uh, but it's a six cylinder. The biggest issue here in Greece is um, a lot of people have cars, um, they pay a registration by the, the amount of CCs the engine has. So, clearly, if you got a 1.6, say, to a, a two liter, your rego might be. Uh, let's just call it 300, uh, 300 euros um, and then if you got a two to a two and a half or three litre it might be 500 euros a year um, and so forth so forth I don't know what the exact numbers are but something like that uh, the engine is pretty stock uh, I think all, of, all of that it has is that exhaust that um, so it's got extractors from that company what was the company called these, these people so um, it's got a full exhaust, sounds pretty good. I'll start it in a sec. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's just gonna be a quick video. Uh, plans for this car is to be a seat time drift car. Uh, to make it look a bit better, I'm gonna end up taking these off. These, I don't know, like eyebrows that they got there. So th they're gonna come off straight away because I don't like them. I'll probably take out the other fog light as well. Um, and that mesh bit in the section, in the front. Uh, engine wise I'm not going to touch it I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is stuff like this um, don't really care uh, like I said this is the second vehicle I've bought um, and once I make the video for the first one you will see the reason why I'm not drifting that one a bit of a hint for you uh, yeah other than that like I said those headlights will come out uh, the eyebrows will come off I'll change the steering wheel got to do like a handbrake setup because um, the handbrake's not adjusted, so I'll probably use the stock one for the time being once I adjust it um, And then I'll end up getting a hydro And the other mod I'm going to do is take this off because I don't like the way it looks And it's got a black roof, which is pretty cool as well. So yeah, other than that, that's that's how the car's going to be This is going to be the new drift car here in Greece um, The plan is to keep it semi street so I can still drive to all the tracks here instead of um getting it towed because clearly I don't have a trailer and I don't really want to be getting it towed everywhere um, yeah like I said three days I've had it and the car's been really good I've enjoyed it uh, just spewing it doesn't have a welded diff but you know it is what it is uh, and yeah I'll end up changing the front seats um, now when I said I'm gonna keep it semi street I don't know if I'm going to remove the rear seats uh, just for some lightweight um, just so I don't get hassled or I will um, just gutter it because the window tint's pretty good uh, and you can't really see so yeah it should be alright with um, police like driving past cops and stuff so hopefully that isn't too much of an issue but I'll give it a, a bit of a start now Um, starts pretty much first go all the time or pretty much it does start first time all the time uh, like I said I don't know it has it every time you have the, the door open the hazards flash for some reason probably a safety option but yeah this is it stuck BMW things um, I guess I'll give you a bit of a clip from here as well. If I can get this thing to stay before, so it doesn't fall. So yeah, that's how it sounds. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it sounds, like pretty quiet. Uh, at least that way I don't um, have any issues driving around. But um, 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll see where this build goes. I'm going to take it to the track. It's going to be the first time I'm going to be sort of drifting while well, properly drifting on the track in a left-hand drive car. Um, normally, or oh, clearly, you know, all my videos have been right-hand drive, living in Australia. But um, super happy with this with this purchase. Uh, I'm interested to see where it's going to go. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing I really want to do is just get on the track, drive, and and um just get used to pulling the handbrake with the the right hand and steering with the left so uh definitely happy with it um as you can see it's beautiful being out here as well uh i just found this little spot close to where i am uh and yeah that's it so this is the beamer the e36 it's gonna be i'm sure you'll see some uh drift videos in the near near future but uh, first things first, got to weld that diff um, and change those rear brakes so I can get a, a smaller tire on the back and then clearly start enjoying it. But thank you for watching. I will most likely make a video on that other car that I purchased first um, in the next, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so. But yeah, stay tuned and uh, more action of this Beamer to be on the track, I guess. and. Let's see what the, the beamer the beamer does. But yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching.